I think it's going to be great for us. So, like I said, uh, one thing we, we kind of talk about in our room is that, you know, when the guy goes down, you know, the standard in the room doesn't change. And I think he's a great guy to be able to hold, hold, hold up. He's going to hold himself to that standard. So, like I said, I think he's going to take advantage of his opportunity. That saying, deepest of the deep, that always applies to your position. Right. Tyreek Hill, how does he influence what, what you have to do this week? I mean, that guy's one of the most explosive players in the league. I mean, this guy, and one thing about it is, I mean, got guy maybe five, five, eight, five, nine or whatever, but this guy can win 50-50 balls down the middle of the field. So, like I said, that's going to be one of our big things this week, making sure we stand deeper than the deepest. Uh, just not allowing uh, big plays. I think that's one thing that teams that played great against them, they didn't have a lot of explosive plays. So if we can limit the explosive plays and uh, kind of contain those guys and affect the quarterback, regardless if Mahomes or Matt Moore plays, I think that's going to be a big key for us this week trying to win a ball game. How have you felt about how you guys have handled explosive plays over the last couple of weeks with guys like Mike Evans and Cat? Yeah, I don't think we've, we've done a well enough job. Um, I think at times we've played well. I think we've limited some guys, but it's just always those couple. And I feel like it's been like that the whole entire year. It's been always those couple big plays every game that we give them in crucial situations that's, that, that we have to fix. And I think that that's, that's one of the main things we're going to do this week is make sure we eliminate those big plays with 10, 17, uh, and all those guys, even LaShawn McCoy out there. So I think if we can eliminate those big plays, we'll put ourselves in a great position to win the ball game. Kelsey's a guy that's kind of had some success against you guys, sure. and he's had success against everybody. Is he basically kind of like a Gronk, or just a guy that can use his body to kind of shield defenders and attack yeah. the ball when it's in the air? I mean, I think he, he has deceptive speed. I think this guy runs great routes. I think, in my opinion, I think he's the best tight end in the NFL. Uh, I mean, this guy has all different type of stems. I think he understands leverage. Uh, he has, he's a long target, so I think, you know, even if you try to get your hands on him, he's able to use his hands, get off routes and different things like that. So. We're definitely going to have our hands full with this guy, but at the end of the day, I have confidence in our guys that you know we're all going to get our chance to cover him. And I think it's going to be a great challenge for us, and uh, I'm excited for it. You play a guy like Mahomes, is it like playing Steph Curry in basketball? I mean, this guy's <laughs> doing low look passes and right. throwing the ball with his left hand. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you don't you don't know you don't know what he's going to do. I mean, uh, but he, he's a great quarterback. I mean, anytime you go up against a uh, reigning MVP like him. Uh, Kind of get your juices flowing on a Wednesday, because at the end of the day, you know you're gonna have a great challenge. Uh, we should have a great crowd out there on Sunday, so you know we're super excited, ready for the challenge, and ready to go try to get a W against the Chiefs, so we can get back to 500. Do you approach it like you know backs against the wall, seasons on the line, or you just go out there and try to have fun and play football? Uh, I mean, I I would say so. Uh, I think just even going out there today at practice, we have to practice with that level of urgency, as if you know. We take every game like it, almost like it's a Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we have to find a way to string on some wins. And at the end of the day, and, and I think that's how it should be every day going for the season uh, going forward, no matter what the record is, no matter what's going on, that we had to play with a super level of urgency to be able to go out there and improve and keep getting better. And like I said, try to get some Ws.